The annotate command, which is also known as the blame or praise command, outputs the specified file or URL with revision and author information on each line. The blame command is particularly useful for finding out who last changed a specific line in a file. The blame command shares a very similar syntax to the cat command that we looked at previously. In this example, we show a basic blame command, making reference to a URL within the repository. Here we're asking the blame command to output the file1.txt file found in the example directory of the mo3lo2 repository. As this example shows when run, the output of the blame command contains two additional columns to the left of each line of the file. Taking a detailed look at these, we see that the first column shows the revision in which the line was last changed. So, in this example, the first line of the file was last changed in revision 3, where the second line was last changed in revision 10. The second column shows the author who last changed this line. Since the owner is the only author working on this file, we can see that he changed each of the lines in question. And finally, the actual line within the file is shown. In this example, we're attempting to use the blame command on a file which is actually a binary. As you can see, this results in the blame command skipping the binary file. It doesn't make sense to use blame on a binary file. Binary files don't have a line-by-line -line structure and therefore blame can't attribute revision and author to each line in the file. As with the cat command, the blame command can take a minus R revision modifier. This allows us to annotate specific revisions of a file. In this example, we've got a blame command with a minus R revision modifier looking at revision 8 of the file1.txt we looked at earlier. The output of this command shows only two lines. If you recall, earlier when we looked at file1.txt, it contained three lines. The second line, however, was last modified at revision 10. Evidently, sometime between revision 8 and revision 10, that line has been added to the file. Because looking at this revision 8 annotation, we see that the second line is not present.